Hi everyone, it's Hina here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to film my skincare routine. It definitely changed after moving to LA because the air here is so dry and my skin was actually breaking out pretty badly for the first month and my skin is slowly adjusting to the weather here and I started to incorporate more hydrating products. So yeah, I hope you'll enjoy my skincare routine video. The first step is a cleanser. I'm using this cleansing balm from Used to the People. So I'm taking a little bit with my finger. Used to the People is plant-based and they have great products for the earth, for the people, as well as of course for the skin. I like to warm up the products on my palms and massage my face with it. And this cleansing balm melts everything from mascara, foundation, eyebrow gel, lipstick, everything. After quickly rinsing, I'm going with this face wash from Pacifica. This is a vegan one. It's really gentle, so it's perfect for a sensitive skin as well. And what I love about Pacifica is that they are cruelty-free and offer a lot of vegan options. And they also have a recycling program. I'm gonna leave more details in the description below. For skincare products, I look for brands that are cruelty-free, vegan, and also offer sustainable packagings like glass jars, reusable bottles, and recycling program like Pacifica. I like to think about the impacts that we're making while using these skincare products. Now it's time for a face mask. I'm using this fresh mask from Lush. They also have a recycling program. And this mask helps with redness and gives the skin the glowy look. It looks like mud, but I swear it doesn't smell bad. And I like to keep mine in the fridge so it's nice and cool. I like to spread a generous amount on my face, avoiding the eyes. The mask is pretty thick so it doesn't dry up on your skin while you have them on. I let it sit for about 15 minutes. In the meantime, I like to brew some herbal tea. This is a recipe I learned from my favorite influencer. It usually has apples, red dates, ginger, goji berries, lemon, and orange, but I just didn't have apples this time. I first slice the ginger. and remove the seeds from the red dates. So it should look like this. And I'm gonna boil the first ingredients, so gingers, red dates, and some goji berries, and bring the pot to boil. For the lemon and tangerine, you can leave the skin on, but I'm removing it because they're not organic. And I'm keeping the skin so I can infuse it with vinegar and water and that makes a really great glass cleaner. Once the first ingredient starts to boil, I'm going to add the tangerines and the lemon. I like to squeeze a little bit of lemon juice, but you don't have to. And I'm going to cover the pot and simmer it for about 15 to 20 minutes. So now it's time to wash off my face mask. And I'm massaging my face as I rinse it off. My skin is super clean and moisturized as well. For the toner, I'm using Aesop's b and Toner. I've been using this for a few months and I love it. It has green tea so it helps my skin get clear. 
for the serum, I'm using this one from Burst. I found this at Target and I'm liking it so far. It's a oil and water-based serum, so I have to shake it well before using it. I usually use three to four drops. It's a little sticky at first, but it gets smoother as it blends into the skin. My current moisturizer is this Primrose Facial Hydrating Cream from Aesop as well. It's light but really hydrating, so it's great for dry skin. I use it for the daytime and nighttime. It's not too overbearing, so it's really versatile. Next step is my acne spot treatment. This is called Ihada, and I got this from Japan. This has been saving my skin since it started to break out after moving to LA. The last step is this jojoba oil I got from Whole Foods. It's really rich, so I only need like one drop. I feel like it helps seal all the products that I just put on my skin. Ojoba oil has healing properties, so it actually helps with my acne scars as well. And I can't forget about the neck. And that was my complete nighttime skincare routine. I hope you found it interesting or helpful. And it looks like my tea is ready. It's rich in vitamins and antioxidants, so it's a great immunity booster and it's also great for skin. When I'm craving something sweet, I sometimes add honey to it. I don't have my own mug at this Airbnb, so I'm using this tumbler from Starbucks. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any skincare tips, please share that in the comment as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!